the costs of contamination. 80% of hydraulic failures come from contaminated oil. Dirty hoses and tubes are a major part of the problem. Today's hydraulic systems operate at higher speeds and are therefore vulnerable to lower levels of contamination. The financial costs from hydraulic failures and other contamination problems are much higher. This means that much more emphasis should be placed on prevention methods. Many other problems from hydraulic contamination can extend far beyond the financial expenses of a repair. For instance, disregarding contamination can lead to invisible declines in operating performance by as much as 20%. That's equivalent to losing one whole day of productivity per week. Extended equipment downtime caused by labor-intensive and outdated procedures. And an increase in repeat system failures caused by contamination. Advancing technology has made contamination a much more sophisticated problem to control. The fluid power industry is changing to accommodate these issues. Manufacturers are now publishing oil cleanliness standards for their machinery and components. They are mandating conformance and rejecting warranty claims for contamination-related failures. But what happens to clean oil when it travels through newly installed hoses and tube assemblies that have not been cleaned? The particles of contamination from the cutting, crimping, bending, and flaring process create a problem that will cause premature wear and system failure. It is imperative to protect your equipment from hydraulic contamination. Premature wear and system failure can be greatly reduced by the installation of clean hose and tube assemblies. To see why, we need a better understanding of what contamination is and how it damages systems. Please view our video on the cause and effect of contamination.